For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. National and International Day of Action in solidarity with striking clover workers. Workers in South Africa's largest dairy sector employer Clover have been on strike for over 2 months now. On January 27th, pickets and rallies were held in several cities of South Africa in support of the workers' demand to nationalize Clover. Demonstrations of solidarity were also held abroad including in the UK and Brazil. 5000 Clover workers led by the General Industries Workers Union of South Africa or JUSA and the Food and Allied Workers Union have been on strike since November last year against mass retrenchments. Several other trade unions affiliated to the left-wing South African Federation of Trade Unions, including the largest National Union of Metal Workers of South Africa, have been standing in solidarity with the striking workers. These unions are also supported by Palestinian solidarity organizations in demanding that the South African government should disinvest from Clover, which is owned by the Milko Consortium. Milko is majority owned by the Israeli Central Bottling Company, which operates in occupied territories of Palestine. So comrades, you are enemy. It's the enemy of the Palestinian people. Yeah. You are here because you recognize that. Yes. You are here because you are experiencing yes. under Milko dictatorship. Brutality that until now we've been hearing about thousands of kilometers away in Palestine. We are saying we are not going to support the Israel state. We are not going to build that Israel economy because if we build that economy, we are affording the Israel state to buy more guns and ammunition and kill more Palestinian people and so we will not fund them. Clover was bought by the Milko consortium in 2019. Milko had assured the competition tribunal at the time that no jobs would be shed as a result of the merger. On the contrary, it had assured 550 new jobs will be created. However, unions allege that over 800 workers have already been forced to opt for voluntary severance packages because their workplaces were relocated from inland regions to expensive coastal cities where they cannot afford to survive on the wages they earn. The strike began after the company then issued retrenchment notices which according to the unions will result in over 1400 job losses. We now have evidence that all the promises that you made to say you will create jobs at least 550 minimum today we have evidence of you having caused us to lose jobs three times the number you gave us and that number is still continuing there is therefore no reason for us to trade with you because you are collapsing our own economy you are collapsing the jobs that we have Workers are making a case that these retrenchments are a violation of the conditions laid down by the Competition Tribunal while permitting the merger of Clover and Milko. Thus, they are calling for Clover's nationalisation. Since the merger, six Clover plants in South Africa have been shut down. This has been perceived as an attempt to destroy the production capacity of South African dairy, so as to open its market for imported dairy products of Milko. This is also seen as a threat. to the interests of South Africa's dairy farmers as well as consumers workers and civil society activists have launched a successful boycott campaign against Clover products many store owners have now stopped stocking Clover's products as a result Palestinian solidarity organizations such as the Palestinian Solidarity Alliance Palestine Solidarity Campaign and the boycott divestment and sanctions movement are also playing a crucial role in organizing the boycott campaign and supporting the striking workers